Okay, so normally I have detailed handouts for you guys on our field trips. Because we've not done this field trip and I haven't been to these sites before, I don't really have a, a whole lot of details. So I, 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 um, I'll, I'll share this specific stuff with you. But um, so next Thursday, there's, we're not meeting in here in class. We're, it's a field day, right? So we're out and about. So if you are one of the folks, so firstly, everybody should have your slack on, right? And locked and loaded and all that good stuff. Um, and everybody should have my cell phone number so that if you have a flat tire somewhere or whatever, you can call me and talk to me. But, but um, so I know some people aren't using the Slack too much. Definitely make sure it's on like right now. Just make sure it's on right now that you don't have it silenced so that if, there, if there's something comes up, there's a big, huge wind event or something on Thursday or something, we can, we can, everybody can get the info. Um, if you are coming in the van with us, uh, uh, and we have plenty of room, so if last minute you guys decide you need to come in the van, we, it should not be a problem. Um, you uh, just need to be down here on the corner, out in front of Sierra Hall, 615. Have the van there, start loading people up, and we're going to pull away at 630. We can't, we can't delay. If you're like five, ten minutes late, we can't wait for you, right? Because we have to really make sure we don't, um, we, we get through the belly of the beast of LA traffic. Um, so we're gonna be leaving here. Once we pull away, if you guys want to put your headphones on and sleep for you know hour and a half, you're more than welcome to. So so uh, uh, we'll drive down. Um, we are first. If you're gonna meet us there, if you're not coming down in our van, um, you uh, should put this address in your GPS, and I'll send this to everybody too. But so that's where we're gonna meet on this little park. Um, and then we're going to play it by ear for about an hour or so. We're going to sort of drive around and, and see what we can see, right? We're not going to be rude. We're not going to peek into people's, you know, horrible houses as they're stressed out. But we want to see what's going on with this management context, right? So we're going to drive around for a bit, check out the lay of the land, see what's going on, stop, um, get some perspectives, that kind of stuff. And then um, this site is about, 50, about a 10 minute or so, 10 to 15 minute drive from this site, which is the um, sort of main... Uh, city hall area uh, for Rancho Palos Verdes. And there we're going to um, uh, talk with the city manager and get um, the take on the most recent uh, goings on of this um, unfolding landslide in the coastal zone. And so we'll have a, a lecture uh, and or discussion uh, there. And then um, after about an hour or so, we'll jump back in the vans and head back. So that's the plan. So if you have a noon class, you should tell your professors we're trying to be back by noon, but it's LA traffic, so who knows, right? So you, maybe it's going to be twelve thirty, maybe it's going to be twelve forty-five. You know, who knows with with by the time you get back. So make sure you let him or her know that um, that that's the situation. Cool. And again, I'll send you I'll send you both of these uh, locations. Okay. So this is the situation. So here we are, right? So we're up here in Ventura County. If we look at the underlying geology of this area, the, pa the Palos Verdes Peninsula marks the southern end of Santa Monica Bay um, and is, uh, is full of unique geology. All of these uh, red, hashed, everything, these are areas of landslide, so active land movement. This area has, was known to have uh, moving ground for um, you know, at least since the 20s, so at least for the last you know century, and you know, probably if we had better historic records, we'd probably find out that you know, the native peoples or the early settlers or whatever there uh, had found that this was that they knew it was moving you know before 100 years ago, right? So this is just a, a geologically active area. Um, some of this is just because of the underlying stratigraphy. Some of it's just because of the underlying um, nature of the beast with this particular part of the planet. Um, we have worsened it. So our decisions in the coastal zone have actively made the sliding worse. And so the clearest example of that is in 1956 when we were doing a road extension down over here. Um, essentially, we changed how water was flowing and that led to um, a... a big slide and, and several hundred homes uh, having problems and, and, and I think be, needing to be condemned and all that kind of good stuff. It is, it sort of stabilized and, you know, it was on the order of several millimeters a year the land is moving, which might not sound like a lot, but for compared to most of our houses, that, that's a fair amount, right? Within, 
within, uh, you know, uh, a decade or so, you could have, you know, cracks in your house with just a few millimeters a year, right? Depending on how, how it's moving. Um, this uh, jumped, so there, there's been several issues that this has come up, but most recently with our current rain events. So we had that very intense drought, right, for several years and not much rain at all. And then uh, starting in um, 2022, we had some good rains, right? Lots of, not just good rains, but like insanely heavy rains, right? Some of the the heaviest rainfall recorded since we had historic records in the, in the LA basin in this period. And so with all that water, we essentially recharged a lot of these aquifers and that really helped um, get this land moving yet again. And so there's various landslides, but the main one that is getting most of the attention right now is the Portuguese Bay. So this, this area right, this area right here is Portuguese Bay. And, and this is the Portuguese Bay landslide. So this is the, this is the area that's causing most of the um, uh, challenges these days. And so this is what we're talking about, right? So this, you know, driveway is dropped away from this house, right? I don't know what that is, six feet, something like that, right? Um, we're having whole uh, chunks of streets and, and, and parts of neighborhoods move, right? And some of the areas that are moving right now are moving on the order of about a foot a week. Um, so it's pretty dramatic. So it's, it's, you know, the kind of thing where maybe your, your kitchen is intact this week and you go away for a month and come back and there's, you know, maybe a four foot wide gap in the middle of your uh, kitchen or something of that nature, right? And so, um, so this is the struggle. So the governor declared a, a state of emergency uh, two months ago uh, in this area. Uh, Southern California Edison and uh, Southern California Gas Company have shut off service to... Um, uh, I think it's a hundred and well, it's, it's on the order of about 200 ish homes already and more could well be coming. Um, so it's, it's, it's unclear. The short, uh, the short version is, um, this, the folks that be the engineers said, Oh, maybe we can just take care of this water by essentially drilling a few wells and then essentially pumping out that aquifer to delubricate, to, so to increase the friction again. So to, to make it less likely to move. And thankfully, in their wisdom, they said, hey, maybe we shouldn't just drill to, I forget what the number is, 200 feet deep or whatever. Um, you know, maybe we should check to make sure there isn't more water. They drilled deeper and um, just this summer found a lot more water deeper to the point where it's not realistic to, to do this, this dewatering effort. So it's unclear what the solution is right now. The land is continuing to move. These folks are continuing to be stressed. Um, and this is a, a challenge in this, um, in this coastal zone community, right? We normally talk about sea level rise and, and coastal erosion coming from the waves battering the sea cliffs. In this case, the cliffs are going into the water, right? Separate from what the waves are doing. So it's, it's related, but it's a distinct challenge. Um, and, and so this, this is a problem. The roads are becoming difficult to move. So, so when we go to do our, um, our, our class activity, Right, so we're gonna drive down. Um, right now, it's about an hour and a half drive. Obviously, as when we go in in the, in the morning, it, it is you know, probably likely to be a little bit more. Um, but essentially, we're gonna go around and we're going to, um, there, you, know, you can check what your, it may well tell you to come through Rolling Hills, Hills Estates based, based on the, the traffic uh, on Thursday. But basically, we're gonna, we're gonna sort of meet up, uh, check out uh, the area around here, drive over here. Um, I'll just note that some of these roads, particularly down over over here, oh, sorry, down over here near this Portuguese Bend area, um, are very hard to drive on. So the speed limit is like, at some parts, it's like 20 miles per hour because it's just washboardy. It's just like it's like a a, a wave in the con in the asphalt and stuff. So we'll be careful and we'll be we'll be safe, but just realize that you know it, it's a it's an actively unfolding uh, coastal hazard. And so, um, so who knows what it'll look like when we get there on Thursday, but that's, that's gonna be the plan. Cool. So that's the plan. So, uh, so I will look to see you all here at this location at 830. Again, plan to get there early, plan to get there at eight and just, you know, get a coffee on the way or whatever and, and hang out for 20 minutes. Plan to be early, plan to be early, plan to be early. Um, and then, uh, again, we'll, we'll, we'll meet with the city manager here and then we'll be done. You guys can head back. If you guys don't have class, you can just head home or, 
or check out more stuff if you want, um, et cetera. So that's the plan for Thursday. Sound good? So everybody's got their Slack on, everybody's got my cell phone, all that good stuff. I will look to see you guys there. Um, uh, by all means, poke me on Slack. If you guys have any questions or, or anything's going on, let me know. Keep, keep us informed what's going on. And that's going to be our, uh, our tour of the, Pal of the um, Portuguese Bend landslide in the landslides on Palos Verdes on Thursday.